Hey there, my name is Alex and welcome to Behind the Blush. This is a series dedicated to the modern wedding, as well as business and personal insights for wedding planners and creative entrepreneurs. Welcome back. Do you struggle with sharing more of yourself on Instagram? If you popped over to your Instagram right now and went through your feed, would you find any photos of yourself or is it mostly of your portfolio and work? I feel you, it can definitely be very vulnerable to share photos of yourself or let people into your personal life as an entrepreneur. But I have to say, as a business owner and especially a wedding planner, having an about me that is compelling and a story that you know lets people into your life is definitely an important part of building a trustworthy brand. You are a big part of your brand and when people see you on your Instagram feed and you're letting them know a bit about you, it's definitely just a way for them to fall in love with you, your brand, and what you're all about. Now I am not saying that you need to hop onto Instagram and reveal your like deepest, darkest secrets and that every post has to be like this personal open book story. Absolutely not. That's not what I'm saying here. But I do think on Instagram that it is important to be your real self and to not be afraid to let people in and let them know who you are as a person. So, you know, that might come with posting a few images a month of yourself so that people can see the face behind the business. I think by sharing a few images of yourself, it just lets people know who you are, what you're all about, and it builds that really important trust that's going to connect connect you with amazing couples and potential future clients. Now you might be thinking this all sounds amazing, but I don't have the resources to be going out and doing photo shoots of myself every single month. And this is where the title of today's episode plays in. On wedding days, I've learned that it's a really great idea to ask the photographer to take a few shots of you styling the tables and setting up the space. Now on a wedding day, there are often two photographers, one person who's gonna be doing like the couple photos and family photos, and one person who's gonna pop over and do detail shots. That is the perfect time to ask a photographer to take a few shots of you setting up the space and styling. Now, of course, you wanna be super polite to the photographer and ask them if they don't mind. You definitely shouldn't expect that a photographer is going to do this. And I think it also helps if you have an established relationship with the photographer already. You know, the setting up and the styling of the table is part of a couple's story. So to have a few photos of you, you know, tweaking the tables, lighting the candles, it just, it, it kind of completes the full story of the day. And I think it could be a nice keepsake for the couple as well to show them a bit of the behind the scenes work that went into their incredibly beautiful day. I think sometimes we forget that the process is also part of the story and tells the story of the day. And yes, then the benefit of that is a few photos that you can share on your Instagram feed, giving, uh, you know, your audience a bit of a, a peek into the world of styling and the behind the scenes look of a wedding day. Now, listen, I want to be clear. This isn't a half an hour photo session for you. This is literally five minutes where you say, hey, um, can you just get a few photos of me like styling the tables, doing my thing? And if you don't have time, no problemo. But if you have an extra five minutes, I would so appreciate it. What's nice about this style of photo is that they're real. There's a story behind them. This is you in the moment on a wedding day, creating this amazing experience and really putting the finishing touches on your client's wedding. Yeah, headshots and sort of stage photo shoots, they can work as well. But I think, you know, having photos from a real wedding, they just come with a much richer story. One tip also is that action shots are just a really great way to tell the story, opposed to like the cheesy traditional wedding planner who's like holding her clipboard and like, you know, ticking things off and, you know, like, hmm, yes, I'm planning. That looks super cheesy, don't do that. <laughs> Um, I don't think that you guys would do that, but you know, you know what I mean? Like there's just those really like, I'm a planner, here I am. Uh, avoid those, make it real, as real and authentic as possible. So that might be you like, you know, tweaking a table setting, lighting a candle, adjusting the napkin, make it, you know, fluid, have that kind of fluid motion to it so that it just like tells the story of, of the setting up and the styling of the day. So I wanna show you a few examples. So these photos are from my amazing friend and incredibly talented photographer, Therese from RT Studios. And she shot me while I was um, setting up uh, Jess and Matt's wedding. And actually this was the first time that a photographer was like, hey, like go, go set up and I'll take some photos. And I was like, really, you don't mind? Are you sure? She was like, yeah. And you know, we spent like five minutes doing them and I love the photos and I use them all the time in my feed. Um, so, you know, that's just a really great example of how a wedding that I did a couple years ago, I'm still using those photos to date on my feed. 
And then these photos are from my amazing friend, Nikki from Nikki Mills Photography that we took at Caitlin and James' wedding. Um, and, you know, she really kind of like encouraged me to play around, smile a bit more. And I got, you know, like 10 to 20 photos that I use all the time in my feed um, that have really helped me bring myself into, you know, my Instagram portfolio and showing people a bit of a behind the scenes look. Well, there you have it. I hope you can take this away and maybe ask some photographer friends who you're close with to take a few action shots of you on the day and that it helps you create some content for your amazing Instagram feed. Well, thanks for checking out another episode of Behind the Blush. Please like and subscribe. I will catch you next time. Let's align your passion with your purpose here at Behind the Blush. Have a fabulous day, my friends. Bye-bye.